Hey, look at that. I pressed the button. <gasps> We're live! Hello, yeah. everybody. That's a solid accent. I use it all the time, 24-7, You think so? I think I could use it too. Yeah. I think people like my late, my wow. accent. I think it's Maybe quite Lego good. Labs here. Hello, David Lego Lab. <laughs> really digging the accent. I am too. I think that if I start talking like this, my channel might grow finally. Yeah. Yep. What do you think? 100%. Okay, thank you, Jeff. I appreciate that. <laughs> Hopefully nobody knows exactly me. Oh, uh, they don't. No, I, I hid your profile picture. Don't worry. No oh, one will find you. Okay, that's good to hear. Everybody, so, this is not BFAB. Oh, this not. is this is British fab, so. Yeah, this is British from another brick. Yes, yes. Or is it brother from another British? Oh, I, I don't know. I just like the name British from another, uh, from another ass butt. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like the name. I like kinsmen in relation, or, yeah, kinsmen in relation, uh, in relation to, um, so it's a, kinsmen in relationship, in relationship to some more cinder blocks. I'm pretty. Oh sure. yeah, that that's right. a very. That's your new name. That's a very very good name. Yes. Yeah, I used a thesaurus. Beef out sounds weird. Tell him to check his mic brick by brick. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, I think beef up sounds a little weird too. Yeah, I mean, he sounds this is beef up. No, this is British fab. Oh, I guess British fab sounds a little better than beef up. So, we got some better abbreviation for no. Isn't uh, British fab's abbreviation is like this, like in the chat? Oh, let's say yeah. um, you have the silent R. Okay, yeah, that totally works. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's British fab. I think th I like this uh, beef fab better. So it's it's more it has a more uh, charisma ring to it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Well, eBay has sixteen days of sweet deals that don't matter to us at all. I'm going to mute myself and see how I sound as British. Let's say. Okay, it sounds like a good plan. Uh, also, howdy, Flores, bros. I don't think I said hello. Oh, okay. I sound pretty good. That's why. Oh my goodness, your audio just went bad for a second. Wait, my audio went bad. For oh, a now second? now it's good again. Okay. I don't believe in audio going bad. Okay, is that against your religion? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I mean, that That's makes sense, religion. I guess. Yeah. I wonder how many people are gonna be confused. They're gonna join the stream and they're gonna be like, "I wonder what's happening to Beefab." So. <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna be confused. It's very. Um... Wait, I'll, I'll change the title so that it explains that I'm with uh, Br uh, British Fab. Oh, British Fab, okay. Yeah. Oh, Beef Fab, are yeah. you going to participate in the 72-hour stream? I think I will. I think I will, most likely. I, I told Bookshop to schedule me, so unless Bookshop gets angry at me, I will be a part of the stream. <laughs> All right. I might or might not. I will don't, be, don't be a wimp, Jeff. Just do it. Well, I don't know if I'll be around, and if I'm like, like if I'm where I could be going, I will have no internet at all, uh, which is inconvenient. That's why you got to get four G, so you could use your four G. But that's I don't know. I was paying money. Do you not have a limited, Jeff? No, I have talk and text, and that's it. What a loser! I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very disappointed in you, Jeff. You should be. Oh, yeah. I'm a very disappointing person. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. I mean... Yeah. Didn't your mother give you up for adoption, Jeff? Probably. <laughs> I don't remember. I was a baby. Oh, yeah. A good point. That is, that's a very yeah. good, good point. Get it. Oh, no. I do not want to play Vision Whoa. Stream. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to copyright strike, and then you're going to have to, like, pay me a million dollars. I'll sue you. For the entire revenue of the stream, which probably would have been like sixteen cents. Well, that's a lot of money. I don't know how I can afford I that. It's yeah, yeah. That's a lot of money. So, so beef. I have five random questions for you. Okay? okay. What do you think of the portrayal of macaroni in the media? Uh, <laughs> I feel like macaroni gets like such little screen time in the media that. <laughs> It, it's it sucks because it should be promoted more though every effing american knows what it is i believe that macaroni should get more 
um, promotion. So, yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you for your input on this topic. Uh, do you know any statistics about or related to fruit jam? I'm trying to do a study on how uh, on how well known statistics about fruit jam. Are. I currently know nothing about fruit jam, so fruit jam statistics specifically. I I knew nothing about that. Okay. Do you think it's underrated or underemphasized? Do you think like, I think it's both. About it? I believe that it's yes. both. Okay. What's going on with brick pasta? I agree. Oh, brick this pasta is brick is fab, fun. not B-fab, so yes yeah yeah this is this is british fab spelled like in the title I, that's, that's not a typo that's it's british fab so if you're wondering you know who's talking to you it's you know british fab yeah. so yeah hopefully so you, you know you, you can assume it's uh you can assume it's bfab but you know like he'll, he'll respond to bfab but it, oh it's, will it's i really i'm not sure if i will i well i'm no, british because fab. It, they can't because they sound the same. It's obviously oh, they're just oh, making okay. typos in the chat. Oh, obviously. So it, yeah. Yeah. Like, they probably type BFAB so much that when they type in British Fab, it auto corrects to BFAB. Oh, okay. Kind of stupid. And they should all go through their auto corrects and make it the other way around. So we oh, I agree. I agree 100%. Correct. I agree. Uh, totally. We're just talking about uh, Fruit Jam specifically, right? Yeah. I wonder how much it's people are going to watch the stream afterwards and wonder, like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> They're not going to wonder at all. It's very clear based on the title. Okay. Well, hopefully they understand. They're going to be like, there's something wrong with Bayfab. Was Bayfab British the whole time? Or, you know, it'll be very interesting. Some British people well, are probably triggered you know, right now. How much do you know about poetry? Um, Very little, but I know. Just, can, can you quote a poem off the top of your head right now? Uh... <laughs> I cannot. I knew, like, didn't Charles Dickens used to write poetry? I think so. He he also wrote books too, right? Didn't Charles Dickens? Was, he was the Christmas Carol, right? Oh, who's that? Ag Agda yeah. Allan Poe or something like that? Oh, Agda Allan Poe. Yeah, he he wrote a poem about a raven called the Raven. Uh, it's funny. I remember some poets' names, but I cannot remember, um, like the poem and stuff. No, no, on the uh, AP language and composition test, I think it was language, uh, we had to write, a, or like one of the short answers was based on a poem about plants and about how plants are taking over the world. Oh, right, Gallagher said, I'm not sure good lot. Well, Gallagher, am I doing a good accent, a good UK <laughs> accent? Yeah, this is British Fab Gallagher. Yeah, it's British Fab. Just reminding us. Yeah. It's statistically proven that British and Australian Lego YouTubers are more popular. Yeah, that's... That's why British Fab is taking over BFAB's channel for the day. Yeah, so I can get some more subscribers and stuff, so... Yeah, so everyone, if you're a fan of uh, British Fab, go subscribe to BFAB's channel. Thank British you, I'd, 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 really, I'd really appreciate that a lot, so... Have any of us seen Gallagate's video? Gallagate has a video? I'm pretty sure that I'm unfamiliar with this. Unless I am familiar, which... I... Whoa! I have not seen that. When did that happen? Gallagher has a video. Very good accent indeed, by Fab. Thank you. I've been working yes. on it for a while. Yeah. I don't even know Gallagher posted born, content. Right? Gallagher, I will subscribe right now to support my fellow fellow British YouTubers. So I just subscribed yeah. right now. I just subscribed too. I didn't know there was any Gallagher content to look up. I didn't either. I so welcome to the Lego community, Gallagher. So. Yeah, it was posted today. Apparently, I'm happy too. Lactose I'm... free. Wait. What you, happened? You go. What are your thoughts on lactose free dairy products? I am a hundred percent a fan of the lactose dairy free products because, like, I'm a vegan, so you know, without those products, so, I would not survive. I, no, I think this is talking about specifically like the lactate stuff where they removed. The lactose, but it's still regular milk with dairy in it. Oh, I think um, that's what it's talking about. I didn't and even know that. Those, I, I didn't even. I didn't even know that existed. You didn't know that existed? No, I did not. Oh, so here's an important question. You probably will have no input because you didn't know it existed. But do you think that these lactose-free dairy products affect humans' intelligence? Um, Jeff, I think you're still dumb. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't use lactose-free dairy products. <laughs> Um, sure uh, does free ones so we're not so dumb. Okay, so you know, I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Let's see, Brooke Pasta says 
almond milk is better for you. I, 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 I agree. <laughs> I agree 100% that almond milk, I love almond milk, so I totally understand what you're saying. So. Whoa, yeah. well, there, did you hear a weird sound effect too? What happened? But, like, in the middle of your sentence, there was like this weird like sci-fi sound effect. I don't know what it was. I think that um, British fab is, I mean, B-fab is trying to take over British fab, so. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I guess it, yeah. I'm getting possessed right now. <laughs> So, um, off off the top of your head, can you name the longest earthquake fault line in a country of your choice, any country at all? No, I cannot, Jeff. Can you? No. Uh, the San Andreas Fault, that's a thing, right? Um, I have I no idea, Jeff. Country. You are aware I am a, a non college going person. But you sound very educated. So I was confused. I know. I know I, I sound very... Like, I know uh, I sound very educated. British all British people sound very educated, so... Yeah. Well, let's say I think Burab is Bfab's blank roommate. I wonder what type of roommate I am. I I remember uh, I it's know. like back in my day, um, I used to beat a brother from another brick because you know he's kind of you know not all there. So I'd beat him a couple yeah. times, and I think he's passed now, so I have to take over. So ah, uh, okay. You you do understand what I'm saying, right? No, yeah, I 100 percent understand. Yeah, I'm just like uh, he has I'm a dead shadow. That, you know, I'm glad someone's around to you know take over Bfab's channel so it doesn't just die immediately. I know it was dying and dying, and so I'm like, well, and if, now, I, if I kill B Fab, if I kill Bfab and I take over his channel, then you know it might actually grow. I, oh yeah. my god, is my accent is my accent turning Nigerian? I think I might be turning a little Nigerian. Mm. Let's uh, turn this into your. Uh, what happened? I don't know how we can switch it. I don't know how you can fit Nigerian into your acronym. I don't know if that works. I do. I have no idea how that all works. Okay, I think I'm boxy British, so I think I'm good. Okay, that's that. good. That's good. It would have gotten complicated if you switched. Uh, oh, I totally understand. Ethnicities. Yeah, that'd be a little strange. So, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just uh, um, drinking some protein shakes because I'm trying to keep those guns that I have. So, can you give us a protein shake uh, infomercial? Thirty seconds ago, advertise protein shakes. Hey, I'm gonna say how I can do this. Um, is he gonna actually talk like this the whole time? Uh, I, yeah. I don't know. It depends. I mean, the the thing is, British. This is his normal voice. So, it's like. Why would he change? Unless he's like doing some improv or something. I don't know. Hey, why would I ever do that? I feel like that'd be very stupid just to improv that time. You know, yeah. it's, it'd be very um, petty. So, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I can do an infomercial. There's really nothing to talk about for this protein shake. I mean, it's a strawberry vegan protein shake that's used for dieting. So, um, if you want to lose uh, 20 to 30 pounds, then I'd recommend you getting this protein shake. So, I don't know. Right, if well, can are... you at least tell us a little bit about uh, online safety in America? Online safety. Yeah. Um, Got to teach the kids. I knew. Okay, um, kids, don't give your <laughs> don't give your credit card to random um, sites that aren't trustworthy. So. Okay, right, that's a good thing. That's cool. check one off the B -fab list. Bfab in the list here. stream. Now this is Bfab, the British man in the stream. So. Yeah, this is this is British fab. Yes. Not Bfab. Yeah, get it right. Uh, what are your thoughts on goats? Do you have a pet goat? I don't, but Jeff, you look like a goat, so, you know, I guess that kind of counts. <laughs> I, I heard pet goats were pretty pretty popular over in England. Do, do you have a pet goat? No, I've heard a lot of news about goats. It turned out to be false, though. Like, I thought goats, like, I, I read on the internet that goats were, like, taking over Australia. I, I heard, apparently that's not true. I heard that goats were running for president. That's what I heard. Really? Yeah, that's what I heard, so. I didn't hear that. Oh, they are. Do you know if it's true or not? Donald Trump. That? Donald Trump is a goat. He is. Yes. Yeah. He's secretly a goat. What? He's secretly a goat. He is. You just got to look at the look at like how he walks and how he looks and how he makes noises. He's I haven't goat. paid close enough attention. What happened? I haven't paid close enough attention. You have to. I will. 
Okay, good. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay close attention from now on. If he is truly a goat, does that qualify him to be president? Or does that mean we have to impeach him? <laughs> no, here we try to show equality. Or at least I thought you guys did in the US, so. Uh huh. Okay. So, so even goats can run for president? Yes. But what happened if, uh, like, the queen adopted a goat and then didn't have any other children, and, like, when she dies, the goat, does the goat become queen or king or whatever? You got it, baby. Just, like, so, so you'd actually do that over in uh, Britain? Yes, yes, we do. Of you. you got it, Very baby. Progressive you got it, government. yeah. All right, that's good. So, what are your thoughts on Santa Claus? Our thoughts on Santa Claus. I believe yes. he's real. Do I mean, have that over in Britain? We do. Like, so Santa okay. Claus who showed up to my house. I think I shot him a couple of times. Um, but that fat that was encasing, like the bullet, he ended up surviving. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you can't kill Santa oh. Claus. Like, you think somebody breaking in your house that you could, you know, stand your ground. But this guy cannot die. So I don't know what's up with that. And do you think... So, do you think there's a chance that since he's like this big mythological creature, do you think there's a chance that he's just immortal? I think that Santa Claus must be immortal. Fat in his stomach. The, this creep, Santa Claus, has been delivering presents for kids for years. I mean, longer than years, centuries. So, okay. it's I, I just I'm trying to get rid of him, but he can't die. Do, do we know that it's been the same Santa since the beginning of time? I believe so. He smells the same every year. I try to smell okay. Santa. And he still <laughs> smells the same. All right, that's good. Do you, yeah. think, do you think Santa should be taxed, or does he just get a really, really big write-off for you know giving out kids? To, I believe to Santa children? should be taxed. I mean, you believe he should be taxed yeah, anyway? Because look, he's slaving okay. those poor elves. I mean, like, I think he should so, be taxed. I, I have a conspiracy theory going around, right? That I think Santa is not actually enslaved. I think that. Santa makes enough money by taking Christmas cookies and reselling them on eBay that he can pay every single elf. I didn't think so. Slaves. I was an elf back in the day. And you he were an elf? Bait me. Yes, he used to bait oh, me. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. You're talking to a former elf. Thank have you for you, the evidence. Have you not seen my photos when I was a kid, how big my ears were? I posted them on Instagram. No, I've I was, not seen them. I was an elf back in the day. And so Santa, he used to bait me every single day. He's like, make more toys, make more toys. And I'm like, well, you make the toys. And he punched me a couple times. And I started crying. And I finally managed to escape. Once, you know, I kind of got with Mrs. Claus. And I snuck off and she let me free. All right, that's good. Yes. So Mrs. Claus is does not approve of Santa's enslavement of elves? She does, but me and her were a thing. Oh. So she let me go. Oh, okay. All she right. said, you know, she started singing Let It Go, and then she let me go. Whoa, when was this? Oh, when this, did this take place? This was about 20 years ago, so. 20, so, Frozen ripped off Mrs. Claus by using the song Let It Go? Did they pay royalties for that? Yes, I mean, I mean, yes, that, they, no, they did not pay royalties for that. They so. didn't pay royalties? Okay, I was going to say, if they paid royalties, then Disney obviously made enough money and paid them enough money that they'd be able to pay all the elves and therefore they don't. No longer. Yeah, the not, the, now. Us elves were living on, like, okay, so we're, okay, I guess we're not really slaves. We get paid about one cent a day. Um, and okay, so you're not uh, technically legally slaves, but you know, you're in horrible work. And then how do we survive? Things in the North Pole, they cost money and they cost a lot of money. We get. Well, so wait, he doesn't even give you free room and board? I mean, we do, but we live in a barn. Oh. We live in a barn. Oh, yeah. Like, that's, that's not. You know the way to trade a human. Yeah. Um, I yeah, AWM says they probably obey to you because you look like BFAB. Completely reasonable misunderstanding. If you think I look like BFAB, do not insult me that badly. I mean, yeah, okay. British fab look British fab looks way more British than BFAB. Yes, I and I, I'm very um I'm very cool. So BFAB he's a dead YouTuber. So British people are just inherently cooler. I love British people. Like they're really um, cool. They have a very cool accent, and like yeah. you American, you guys Americans are so boring. Like your voices, you guys sound like cows. No, I mean fact. it kind of depends on where you are in the U.S. You know, there's different different accents. 
in different areas. But oh, I mind, but I you know, I listen to y'all, and you guys you guys sound yeah. like cows. No, I, I understand your generalization. I agree. I know, like Jeff, right now your voice is so annoying. Like I have a a knife in one of my ears. Yeah. A very very important question for you. Do you know any events that happened a hundred years ago affecting pumpkin seeds? I think one time Santa defecated on the pumpkin seeds, so uh, maybe that's the... <laughs> maybe Do you know that... how long ago that was? Was that around 100 years ago? I I, I think so. Uh, I think so. I've been, a, I've been a slave elf, or I was, for about 200 years. And I finally got let go 20 years ago. But I believe Santa oh, defecating okay. on the pumpkin seeds might have changed something. All right. So do you think there's a law now in the North Pole about defecating on pumpkin seeds? I don't know. Santa, think, just... I believe I believe Santa is the current president of the North Pole, so I don't know. Oh, the North Pole is a democracy? I thought it was a dicta- dictatorship. <laughs> I, I think it is. I, I, I don't know. Okay. I haven't been back there in 20 years since I was free. Now I'm an elf living in America. And, yeah. Is, where did your English accent come from? Were you Did you live in Britain as an elf before you moved to the North Pole? Yes, yes, that that is correct. Also, back to the government of the North Pole, do you know if it's a true democracy where every single individual person gets a vote, or is it just a representative? Regarding what again, can you repeat your question? Okay, do you know if the North Pole is a representative democracy or a true democracy where every single individual person gets a vote? And nobody gets a vote there. I mean, Nobody we have a president. president. How's it a democracy? Okay, okay, you're right. I guess it's a dictatorship because... Oh, so like, it's a we, dictatorship, but they call yeah. it, they disguise it as a democracy by calling on a president. Yeah, because I mean, you tell everybody that everybody thinks Santa's a good guy, but in reality, he's a piece of garbage, and um, we don't get to vote, but they say he's President Santa. Like, we have to call him Daddy President Santa. Ah, uh, okay. So... How is the gang activity in the North Pole? Are there a lot of gangs? I mean, we don't have gangs because Santa, if you know, if we try to join a gang, okay. Santa will beat us. Um, <laughs> so we don't have any gangs. But we try to like rebel. Like I remember back in the day, we used to have okay. a lot of like, rebellions, and Santa would duct tape us to the wall, and he would throw dots at us. And because of that, we don't do any rebellions anymore. Or at least I don't know because. Um, I haven't been back in 20 years, so. So, a very important question from Embargo17, who's in our live uh, live feed here. He's asking, what is your favorite minifigure from the Ninjago C- movie CMFs? Are you familiar with those? I am. Um, some of my fellow slave elves had to make those, actually. Um, uh-huh. So, I-, I would have to say, my favorite is the Lord Garmadan in the pajama suit. Um, because those used to kind of look like the the pajamas that we used to wear. So it kind you guys of wear volcano up. pajamas. We do, yeah. It's in the North Pole. That's the only thing wow. Santa would give us was uh, volcano pajamas. So I mean, That's cool. yeah, it was very generous of him, but he still beat us. So I don't know. Was it generous? Uh, I don't know. Possibly. So. Here's another question about daily life up there in the North Pole. How has the drinkware that you guys have used evolved over time? The what? The drinkware, like what you use to drink out of, like cups or mugs or. We actually we don't tumblers. get to drink. We actually Santa throws. You don't get a drink. No, Santa doesn't give us anything. This is what Santa does. He pushes us out the factory and says, eat the snow. It's like water. I mean, it technically is water. It's water in a different form. And he just says, eat that. And we have about one minute to eat as much snow as possible. Do you ever get dehydrated up there with, you know, the limited amount of liquid you're allowed to intake? I do all the time. When we start getting dehydrated and tired, Santa just takes out his whip and beats us. So, I I hope... Is this conversation bringing back terrible memories for you? It is. I I am a survivor, so I have to share my story. Uh, Okay. All right. That's good. Uh, AWM Lego Films asked, how old do you have to be to consume alcohol at the North Pole? Well, okay. So regarding liquids, the only thing Santa would actually give us is alcohol. Because we'd start crying and just like drink this and drink that. And so if you ever get Uh, a messed up like Christmas gift and stuff, then then that's probably because we are drunk making it. And so, uh, yeah, because of that, um, 
Yeah, so we would we've been drinking alcohol. I saw a baby elf. He was like one. I don't know why they got him to work. Um, they were they were forcing him to make some toys, and I'm like he's just a baby. And they're like, it's okay, he could do it. So he was drinking since he was one years old. So, okay, so I have a qu another serious question. With the amount of snow outside, obviously it looks very white. Does the color white give you traumatic flashbacks? It does, and that's why I lock myself in a box. I actually live in a box. Um, uh, is the box made of cardboard? It is. What did you think it was made out of? Metal? Well, I, I, I was just going to list a bunch of materials until I got the right one. Yes, yeah, so I live in a cardboard box. box. It's a pretty big cardboard box. The reason I live in there is because looking at snow and even being in a house or anything kind of you know, brings back terrible memories because I used to live in a barn, uh, because, you know, Sada would force us to live in bonds. And because of that, you know, anything brings like traumatic memory. So I just live in a box. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So how solid are the, or is the legal system up there? Like, are there a bunch of legal loopholes you have to deal with in a court system? You have no rights. In the North Pole, you have, you no, have no rights. rights? Nothing. You do something wrong, Santa just executes you on the spot. Okay, so it's kind of like Santa is judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. he is. I've seen him slaughter poems in front of my face. Okay, so are shelf elves midget escapees from Earth Pole who take shelter in American homes by giving them the impression that they work for the dictator Santa? Um, I cannot confirm or deny that. I can't say okay. because if Santa finds out, then you know he might. would endanger all your elf friends, right? Yeah, so I cannot confirm or deny that at this point. Until so, somebody takes over uh, Santa. Are there chickens in the North Pole? And if so, how are they raised? Are they like stuffed together in giant rooms, or are they uh, raised as cage-free chickens? Oh, uh, we have no chickens in the North no Pole. They all freeze to death yeah. mostly, so. Yeah. So, so, you, so you've tried at one point to bring chickens. Yeah. In. Well, Santa has. Santa's like raise these yeah, chickens, yeah. make sure to cut off their heads, and they would just freeze before anything, so they'd freeze to death. So we just stopped raising and we're trying. So it was a waste of money for Santa, and Santa's a big baller shot caller. Yeah. So he doesn't want yeah. to court into his profits and stuff. So. So maybe he doesn't use the money to uh, to pay the elves, but does he resell Christmas cookies on eBay? He does, he does. So he can make more money, yeah. so he could, you know, buy the Ferraris and the Lamborghinis and everything else, so. Does he, like, have a garage of Ferraris and Lamborghinis up at the North Pole? He does. They're Christmas How do those perform in the snow? They, like, does he ever drive them? <laughs> or does he just have them as a symbol of his wealth? So he has some of them that actually just are sitting there for display, and the other ones he has, like he had treads to them, like the snow top treads, uh, so they can drive in the snow. And those must look incredible. They, so they're they interesting. He never lets the elves ride them, but he makes us clean them, so. I'm like 017 wants to know, how are the elves executed? So, this is very, this is very sad, because I used to have to witness a bunch of my elves getting executed. Um, so, he uses a guillotine. So, okay. All right. Uh, are the rumors true that Santa runs the American mafia? Yes, he does. Santa runs everything. Little do you all know that Santa is behind anything bad that ever happens or anything good. Santa runs it all. Santa is like okay. God. So, yeah. Does Santa run Jeopardy? He does. So, what do you think? Um, Oh, what do you think the situation is with the growth or decline of pop, of uh, Jeopardy's popularity on TV? Do you think more or less people watch it than they used to? And do I you think, think that has anything to do with Santa's it. influence on the show? I, I think that less people are watching it because a lot of these kids these days are just playing video games and they're not focusing on the education on TV. So. so do you think that Jeopardy should be more popular and kids should still be watching it, correct? I think they should, yeah. Okay. You heard it here first. Sorry? Okay. You heard right. it here first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are your thoughts on pumpkin pie? I hate it. So, you back in the day, pie? Santa would only feed us pumpkin pie also. I mean, he okay, so he'd give us pumpkin pie and, you know, stale cookies that nobody wanted. 
and that would be every like year when he'd feed us. Other than that, we had to hunt for our own food. So, so do you ever use just use pumpkin pie as a linguistic or symbolic vehicle theme example or pattern throughout like normal speech? Like, your daily what? Life? That I'm um, totally confused. So, <laughs> so like, like do you use it as a symbol? Like, are you ever like, oh, that instead of saying, oh, that sucks, oh, that's like pumpkin pie. Do you do that? I mean, yeah, sometimes. All the time? Sometimes. Does Santa have height requirements for factory workers? No, so if you're too tall, Santa would just cut off your legs. Does that, does that ever make work difficult? No, Santa has us elves build, like, little, like, legs for the other people, so he'd cut you basically in half, and then he'd add some, oh, you know, like, wood to your legs, and so you'd walk around with the, the wood on your legs. So does Santa have a network of security cameras throughout the North Pole so that he sees everything that's going on at once? Santa doesn't even need security cameras. He sees everything. I don't know how. Oh. Like when they say Santa, he sees you when you're sleeping and he knows when you're awake. He does. Yeah. I remember one time so I tried to creep out. security cameras for that? I, he doesn't need it, no. So I tried to creep out to use mm -hmm. the restroom and he saw me. And I'm like, how do you see me? You were on the, first, the 13th floor. And so... Then he started beating me. He said, you cannot use the bathroom without asking, so. Okay. Did Santa graduate from the University of Texas? I knew nothing about that. Okay. Santa right. tells us very little. All right. I understand. You know, he's got to be secretive. Otherwise, if you know too much about him, you know, he won't be scared of him. Uh, is there more? Yes. How fast can you eat a banana, Mr. Elf, sir? Mr. I, I have no teeth, actually. Santa removed all my teeth. You don't really need teeth to eat a banana, do you? It's like all bushy. I knew, but oh, you're right. Got good point. So it usually <laughs> takes me about 20 minutes to eat a banana. Ah, <laughs> uh, because you don't have teeth. It yeah, takes a long so, time. yeah, I got to like suck on the banana. Okay, all right. Does Santa make you build your own coffin before your execution, or does he cremate your remains to save funeral funds? So, Santa, actually, yeah, he does cremate us. I've seen him cremate people alive, which is kind of brutal. Um, I remember there was a time that an elf was talking back, and he threw him in the furnace and burned him alive. So, Santa can be very brutal if you talk back, so. What are your thoughts on diet soda? I Do you think it's good for I you or bad it. for you? It's nasty. Do you it think it's portrayed well in the media? I think that it should. It is portrayed well in the media, but it shouldn't be. That stuff is disgusting. So, I okay. I would not give it to my worst enemy. So you wouldn't give it to Santa? I would give it to Santa only. Him. <laughs> okay. So your second worst enemy, you wouldn't give it. To him. I would not give it to my second worst enemy. Okay. All right. Makes sense. I was checking the uh, the live feed to see if anybody had any questions. Oh. So, uh, what's the widest waterfall you've ever been to? Do you think I, I measure the waterfalls? What? Do you think I measure the waterfalls? Yeah, you don't? No, nobody does I thought that, that was a common thing for British uh, people to do. Maybe that's just a misconception. <laughs> No, we, we do not uh, measure the waterfalls. Oh, okay. That feels weird. Who doesn't measure waterfalls? All right, maybe it's just commonplace over here in America, but I don't know. So since since you've been away from the North Pole, you've kind of had a little bit of independence, right? Can you uh, learn any lessons from that? Gallagher says what? <laughs> Gallagher is confused. He, for some reason, Jeff thought us... Um, British people, we measure water force for some reason. I don't know Specifically why. Specifically the width, not the height. Jeff is very dumb, so if you could not tell that already. So, um, what are your thoughts on the oldest aquarium in the world? The oldest aquarium? Um, I, I, I don't know. I've never been there. Santa never oh, okay. took us on field trips, and remember, I don't like going anywhere. I lock myself in a box, so... Uh, so that Santa can't find you? 
Yeah, and so far he has not found me for the last 20 years, but he said he will That's find good. me. Do you have I a good know, credit rating? I don't. I have no credit. Oh, you have no credit at all? No. Or are, you worried, worried that, are you worried if you get like a credit card, Santa will figure out how to track you? You got it. Ah, uh, okay. What cheese is best for a fried egg sandwich? I wouldn't know. I'm against animal crew type. Just because I saw what happened to the elves. And sometimes Santa would, you know, I wouldn't even want to say what he'd do to the elves. So I'm vegan now, so. So you're, uh, you're vegan now specifically because of the cruelty you experienced at the North Pole, correct? Yes, yes, I am. That is correct. Is it true that Santa only feeds his factory workers substances containing sugar to give them more energy to work rather than waste time letting them rest? Um, I believe so. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. And you know, obviously you're not in Santa's head, so you can't know for certain. You don't I know if that's I'm the viewers. We're down to one viewer. <laughs> maybe they're expecting beef admin. I don't know. Maybe they want beef that bag. I don't know. Okay, I'll go get him. I'll go get him. Wait, oh, did you see the Toy Story 4 preview? So, uh, funny story. I don't know if you've seen it at all, Mr. Uh, British Fab, before you leave. Um, I'm back. Yo, no, B British Fab is gone. British Fab is gone? Uh, yeah, I pushed okay. him out a window. I think he might have broke his back, and I think Santa got him. Oh, okay. All right. Did you see the Toy Story 4 trailer the other day? The Toy Story 4 trailer? I saw it. It was actually pretty good, surprisingly. So, here's the thing. I saw it once, and, like, I made it halfway through, and I was like, wow, this looks like spoilers. I'm not watching any more Toy Story 4 at all. It actually, it looked actually really good. I was kind of surprised. Yeah. To be honest. I mean, I, I know it's going to be good. I guarantee I will see it in theaters the day it comes out. But Pixar is really bad at not spoiling stuff in trailers. Like, Incredibles 2 was super predictable because I saw the trailers and they make it super predictable. So, to avoid that, no more Toy Story 4 or anything. Like, I saw the teasers, and I watched this trailer once, but never again. Color Me Bright is here. Hello. Yeah. I guess people like BFAB better than British Fab because the viewers are back, or some of them are. Yeah, or they just psychically knew that BFAB was back. I don't know. I thought, I thought British Fab was a pretty cool guy. Yeah. He, he was an okay guy. I don't know if he's alive still. I think Santa got to him. Santa found him? I think so. I pushed him out a window, and all of a sudden I saw a reindeer, like, fly, you know, in the air, and I'm like, oh, well, I guess so. bye, British fab, you know? Poor British I don't know. Fab. I didn't check out him. I didn't check on him. I, I threw him out a window, so we'll have to see. Uh, AW, we can't. British fab can't answer that question because he's no longer with us. Yeah, I, I don't know. Santa might have got to him, so I don't know. I don't care. He's just he's lying there like, oh, actually, you know, he's okay. The reindeer's licking him because he's just, like, shaking there. He's having, like, a – he's spazzing outside. Okay. So, rest in okay. peace. Hey, Vision ended his stream. He missed British Fab. Maybe British Fab went over there. And then everyone left because they were like, oh, who's this weirdo? And then Vision was like, well, I can't deal with this. It's time to end the stream. Of course, we'll never know because we were never there. Uh, now that beef now that, had a, yeah. how fast could eat a banana? I have not uh, tried it. Since you weren't here when uh, British Fab was, uh, we asked that question earlier, and British Fab had no teeth, so like, it takes him forever to eat a banana. Like, Dang. I thought everybody had teeth. Well, poor you know, British Fab. No, he said that, he said that Santa like knocked them out or something, something like that. Then you can get dentures or something, right? I don't know. Apparently, British Fab didn't think of that. I think British Fab was broke. I think that's why. Oh, okay. Uh, can you yell at the window and read uh, read AWM's question to British Fab and tell, uh, tell him his answer? I don't know British Fab is still with us. He dropped two stories, so. I don't mean if Santa found him and B Fab was yelling out the window about Santa committing illegal activities, that could be really bad for you, B Fab. Like, yeah, I don't want Santa to go out Based on. Here. Based on what we learned from British Fab about the actual nature of Santa. And I, I hate bananas, so I never eat a banana fast or a banana in general. I hate bananas, so. Yeah, I don't really like bananas either. I, I like banana bread, but I don't like actual bananas. I hate banana bread too. Ew. 
I like nothing so related to bananas. bananas. Like I might like bananas and some smoothies, but that's all. I don't like smoothies. That's why you're so skinny, Jeff. Yeah, sure. You probably eat nothing other than grass outside. Um, yeah. Yep. I love grass. My favorite food. Thoughts on soft shell tacos? Uh, they're good. Have you ever had a taco? Uh, I've bought like the taco, like you know, wrap or whatever stuff to make stuff. So okay. taco shells. But yeah. You've never had like an actual taco because you don't eat meat or cheese. I mean, you can put other well, stuff like, in there, like vegetables. I mean, and... I, I guess, but I don't know. I, I feel like the meat's relatively essential. Otherwise, you're just like eating lettuce and tomatoes and taco shells. Yeah, if you don't become, do you think you die? What? Want to become vegan? Do you think you die? Probably. Uh, what, Jeff, you weigh like pounds now, right? I weigh like what? Seventy You're pounds. Out a little. Uh, yeah, like times two minus five. You weigh one hundred pounds. Probably. I, last time I was weighed, yes. Did you hold a bunch of weights being weighed? Uh, yeah, I did. That makes sense. Yeah. I remember. I remember when I used to be 130 back when I was 16. I used to be really skinny. Is beef, cutting, is beef head cutting out for anyone in the chat, or is it just for me? I can't tell. It's probably just for you. You're probably a beef head cutting out when he isn't. Right, I'm plugging in an Ethernet cable, so that should fix the internet. You plugged in a camel? A camel? Well, people don't like British Fab, you're black viewers, so. Yeah, I mean, I thought British Fab was cool. So did I. I, I no, not really. I hate the guy. You don't like British Fab? Nah, he's. Well, I think British Fab is cool. Wait one sec. I'm muting myself to listen back on the stream and see if it's just me or you glitching. That's Santa. Entertain, entertain the chat for a minute. Everybody, house is going on. Any questions on the only B Fab? Free to leave your questions in the comments below. There. I'm very entertaining. Right? Yep, that's what I thought. Um, hard shell tacos with a shell stuck onto it using cheese sauce. I've never. Had that before. Never had what? A hard shell taco with a soft shell stuck on it using cheese. No, I've never had that before cheese either. Sauce. See, I can't even say it correctly. Uh, do they even have vegan cheese sauce? Is that a- they have vegan cheese, which I love. It's like my addiction. Yeah, I mean, I honestly, I'm not a big fan of cheese. Nobody cares about your opinion. Or not. You gotta try the vegan stuff, boy. I don't think I would like vegan stuff any better, though. Uh, it's called Daya. Daya. Yeah, I, I know. I work in the dairy department. I'm very familiar with it. Then buy some. Why? I don't but like I, cheese. But I said so. Uh, are you going to break Chicago again this year, BFAB? No. Why not? Uh, it was miserable the first time. <laughs> uh, hey, Dalek Bricks is here. Welcome. Dalek! You missed the appearance of British Fab. Yeah, British Fab was best. so cool. I know he was a really cool guy. The rest, I, I need to put the description and add you in there as well. In addition to British Fab. Okay, that's good to hear. Yeah, yeah. So that people aren't expecting British Fab the entire time, you know. Understandable. Uh, you didn't. Yeah, like you didn't know about soft shell tacos. It's just like a. Tortilla. You know, the, I didn't know any of the stuff. I started working at the grocery store. Um, that I didn't even know it existed. So hmm. it's funny. I didn't even know the difference in cheese and stuff. Between cheese and what? Pepperoni and cheese, pasta. Pepperoni and cheese. Pasta. I didn't pasta? know. The difference. 
You didn't know the difference between pepperoni and cheese pasta? Macaroni and and then pasta. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're like cutting in and out. It's weird. So I didn't know the right. difference between those two. And okay. so I remember something from macaroni and cheese where it's my second one in there. And pasta. And they said, you know what macaroni and cheese is? And I turned completely <laughs> right. And I'm like, oh. Like, wait, are you? I'm like, no. They're like, are you a man? I said, not a So. That's a good story. Yeah, it is. Great story. Yeah. Because you have to make it, you know? Because, you know, it's like, um, you don't eat that type of stuff, so you don't know about that type of stuff, so. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess if I don't eat yogurt at all, but obviously in the dairy department, there's a lot of yogurt. So yogurt. Yeah. Yogurt. Yeah. The extent of my story. Oh. Will British Fab ever get another appearance if he's not dead? Yeah, I mean, his fate was questioned. I know there's like an Indian fab, but you know. Okay, I'm so yeah, apparently, uh, apparently you're cutting up for the chat as well. It's not just me. Also, I, I just switched microphones uh, accidentally. Hopefully, I still sound okay. Uh, BFAB, can you answer your questions about British people for the chat using your experience with British fab? I don't know if BFAB has any experience with British fab. But. Yeah. Dalek bricks just disappear. He said hello and then vanished. Uh, oh, you're back. Is this better? Maybe you're not back. Am I back? Brick by brick. You're back and you're talking? I can't hear you. Okay, that's but good. It looks like you're not talking. I'll just start singing then because you can't hear me. So call. Can't hear me. It's mysterious, BFAB. Have you been to the UK, BFAB? I haven't. I totally should go. go though. I don't know. Let me guess. No. He hasn't. But that's just a guess. Uh, everyone thinks that British Fab is better than BFAB. I know. And you act like you can't hear me, young lady. I know you can hear me. <laughs> BFAB, can you answer questions about British people for the chat using your experience with uh, British Fab? Um, British Fab unfortunately passed away, so I can't really answer for him. Wait, the chat. Oh, wait, the chat can hear you. Have you ever eaten an insect oh, and no. enjoyed it? Uh, I think Jeff has. Um, oh, I can't unmute you. No, whoops. You can unmute yourself. I was attempting to see if that would work. Oh, wait, never mind. I can. I think. No, I can't. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, this has gone well. <laughs> um, yo, yo, yo. Oh, yeah, the chat. What did you do, BFAB? We've run into the Eric issue. I don't think we have, Eric. I mean, Jeff, I think you're faking it, sir. Yeah. Yeah, the... Uh, Thank you. My accent. So here's the thing. When I, I was younger, I can't hear you. When I was younger, Hello, I used BFAB? to fake a lot of British accents when I, I was a idea. little kid, and so I just got really good at it after a uh, while. I need to pull stuff up, and then I will execute my idea. Entertain the chat. No, wait. I can't. Oh, they changed that too. You used to be able to just hang up. So that's what I used to do when I was younger because I like the the women, right? So in seventh grade, the women liked all the they liked One Direction. So I'm like, let me fake a hey, British accent. I can hear you now. Oh, you can. Okay, that's yeah. Good to hear. I figured out how Eric had to end the issue. You can't press the hang up button, but if you just close the window, it likes at the call, and you can rejoin back in. And that's how it works. <laughs> and that apparently would have fixed the uh, the audio no issue as it just did here. 
So yeah. So I'm trying to say like uh, okay, so because Gallagher said my 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 accent was awesome. So I was saying back in the day when women used to like One Direction when I was like in seventh grade. I'm like, okay, they like these British people, so I'll go around faking an accent. So they're like, <laughs> like, oh, guys with British, British accents are cool. So I said, how does my fake British accent sound? And they started freaking out. So I just so kept doing it. What happened? So you actually did that? Not, well, I mean, they knew I was faking it. I even said, let me show you guys my fake British accent. So the women would ask me to speak like I'm British. So I just kept doing it. And since I was doing it for such a long time, I think I became semi-good at it. Oh, I think you should have, like, done it and not told them that you were just faking an accent. You should have been like, this is my real voice. I mean, this, the thing is, they knew I spoke, like, you know, like a like a American. Um, and so I just, like, had fun with accents. And, like, I know that sounds messed up, but, like, you know how when you're a teenager, you crack racist jokes, right? Yeah. So people are cracking racist jokes at me. So I started just practicing a bunch of different accents to make fun back at them. And they'd get so angry. I mean, like, they'd beat me up or whatever. So... <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I remember. Um, no, I, I don't even. I won't go into full details of that. But can you ever yeah. introduce us to? Are you even part British? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, you're definitely part British. Oh yeah. It, oh my god. What was I about to do? This <laughs> is like go to accent or something like that. No. Yeah. Um, British, no, I'm not yeah, part British. British. I was saying how I used to prank people, and well, not prank, but they knew I was doing it. They'd ask me to speak in a British accent, so I'd, you know, mess around and do that. So. I can do a Chinese accent. It's just really hard. I think I'm best at Indian, and I can do a pretty good British accent. So, But then All some right. people... I remember I used to do that on live streams. Jeff, you probably remember this back in the day where I used to like do a bunch of accent stuff, and I'd even like do like all these weird voices and stuff. And um, I mean, people then started getting triggered and saying I was racist, so I just stopped doing it. <laughs> like, he's racist. I'm like, no, I'm just having fun with accents. Yeah, like I, I think I can do a good, pretty good country accent too. So I don't know. I don't know if that was even yeah. a good country accent. That was yeah. debatable. Dang it! Well, I can do a very, very good Indian accent. So, do you think yeah. that is very good? Yeah. Okay. Thank Ten you. Out of 10. Ten out, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna get so triggered. <laughs> yeah. If this video should be the podcast number three. This isn't specifically an episode of the podcast. This is just kind of because we're with British Fab stuff. for the first half of it, and then BFAB just kind of came in. This wasn't originally a stream with uh, BFAB. It was just British Fab. And I, you know, I can't do a stream without my co host. Now the BFAB oh, no, is part podcast. British. I guess I better stop being British Fab now. British, you're not British Fab, though. You're right. Imitating. You're right. You're, you're right about that. British Fab fell out the window. I think I can also do a really good feminine voice. What do you think about that? Does it sound good? Is it believable? Or no? What? Was it My feminine to voice. Uh... Kind of. I think that people think it's a female. Debatable? Okay. I was just curious because a lot of people say that my feminine voice is very um, feminine. So, yeah. Um, he said, "Stop yeah. calling him by his old names." Sorry, nobody cares. <laughs> if you sure that British Fab didn't just die because of an infinity gauntlet snap from a giant lavender purple man with multiple chins, uh, I don't know about that. I mean, I pushed him out a window, so I think a lot more of the chat would have died if that happened. Because half of our life, you know, it would have been a little weird if the entire chat was unaffected except for British Fab. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been statistically improbable. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I guess it's not impossible. I just nothing is possible. Nothing is impossible. I guess. Well, there's probably something that's impossible. Ryan Live Reviews is here. Like that was impossible. Him coming in here. <laughs> there's no way it was ever gonna happen. Yeah, totally. Yeah, but he's here now. So look, sometimes the impossible is possible. This has been your motivational speaking with BFAB and Brick by Brick. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, true. Nobody here was affected. Oh, no. Ryan Live Reviews is here. Impossibility. Impossible. 
I feel like this is the first stream where we haven't talked anything about Lego, and it's funny as heck. Yeah, that's true. The question is, do we correct it, or do we keep uh, keep on this? Is oh, there really no, a lot of Lego news this week, anyway? I mean, there was there was a lot this week, not right now, and we already discussed it the other did day. Did we talk about this stuff already? Yeah, we did. Yeah, it was Homecoming. Yeah, the, uh, the Spider-Man and the, the Disney, Disney Series bag. 2, which is the best news of all time, and then there's the... Uh, what was the price official by the time that we um, talked about the Darth Vader thing? Yeah, it's officially forty dollars. Okay. Well, like, did we did we know that last time we did it? Uh, That's the only news. That I we don't know if we actually did. Well, if you didn't know that Darth Vader bust thing, that's forty dollars, and it's going to be a Target Red Card exclusive. Woohoo! There you go. You're welcome. You're all caught up on the news. Fake news. I think there's probably been some other leaked stuff, but we're not going to talk about that because that's not real news. I'm I'm just waiting for more images of stuff to get revealed because, um, you know I'm like not like leak wise, but like you know Lego officially revealing some more things because there's still a lot that Lego hasn't revealed. So honestly, the only thing I'm super excited about right now is the Disney Direct to Consumer set. Like that's, uh, that's it's the... actually a life size uh, Mickey Mouse with a double chin. So I'd still buy it probably. <laughs> Uh, makes sense. Yeah. But, um, uh, yeah. Hey, do your best every day, Bfab. Best what? Just check out this piece of tech. Are you listening to an ad? Ah, okay. Some random tab I had open was playing audio. Anyway. Uh, See you, Galligate. Galligate. Yeah, Galligate has to go. Adios. Galligate, your content's going to be amazing. I can't wait to watch your first video. Yeah. Galligate's awesome, so. Obviously, her content's awesome, too, so. Uh, yeah, I mean... I'm skeptical about the Ninjago summer sets. I'll probably end up buying them anyway. Disney direct to consumers on my list already, even though I don't even know what it is. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think uh, whatever his name is saying that nobody can complain about sets being overpriced. Just wait for it to go on sale or price match it. You are aware that direct to consumer sets don't go on sale. They barely do. And you can't. They only go on sale cave. if they like hardcore flop, like the '60s Batcave. Yeah, so that that's a total. That comment makes no sense. Or even like those, you... those rare promos, like the Darth Vader stuff or the Brickheads. Those yeah, like those the limited ones now. will not go on sale. So that makes yeah. no sense. I was. So that's what we were free talking to complain about. Complain about the price of the Lego Movie Two Emmett and Lucy Brickheads. All I wanted to. I complain. I mean, they're paying money. So you know, a lot of these people have. Your response and don't love it. I'm throwing. Oh, you're cutting in and out a lot. Hello? Did you just die? Hello? Howdy, Mr. BFAB. Okay, I had to check the stream and make sure that it wasn't think like, it didn't glitch out again. But it looks like Beefheb has died. I don't know if he can he's not muted. He's just actually not talking. Yeah. Oh wait, is he saying stuff now? It switched this. Oh wait, that was probably because I clicked on his oh, image. Right. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, it was. Yeah, BFAB is, is dead. Apparently. Anyway, as I was saying, stuff... Oh, he he's... Hey, are you back? I am back. Can you hear me, though? I heard it say, speak again. I am back. I heard, like, a single... Yeah, of audio. Well, I guess I have to head out out then sir oh is it wait well i guess i have to out then sir 
Oh, it's I I see the problem. <laughs> I don't know if Jeff can actually hear me. Even part. Can you hear me? Yes, there we go. Your computer sucks. No, I, it's Hangouts. Eric had the same <laughs> issue. I'm pretty sure that this is just a stupid Hangouts bug, and Hangouts is garbage now. <laughs> yeah, but what I was saying before, you couldn't hear me, so-called. Okay. Um, the Nobody is, I mean, I feel like everybody has a right to complain about Lego sets, unless they're living with their parents and doesn't they don't have to pay bills or anything. Like, you gotta understand, like, for me, if I wasn't living with my parents... I might be buying twenty dollars Lego sets a week, but nothing else. I wouldn't be spending two, three hundred dollars on Lego sets. Yeah, I mean, you you spend more on Lego sets than I do. Yeah, but I'm saying like, okay, so Jeff, you live yeah. on you know campus. Yeah. But if you all of a sudden had to go, you know, let's say the job you're going for, you know, you don't get paid enough, or let's say you do, but you have to buy a house, you got to pay for rent, you got to pay for well, let's say if you. Well, I don't know if you want a house or buy like to rent. What do you want? Uh, I don't know. So let's say you buy a house, right? It costs you three hundred thousand dollars, and a lot of you money. have to fo- you have to focus on paying your mortgage and your you know your utilities and your other stuff before you focus on getting Lego. And then Lego, yeah. you might be like, wait, why am I only getting twenty dollars Lego sets a week now compared to two three hundred dollar ones? Yeah, because obviously you know that comes first. Yes, it does. Lego, Lego doesn't come first in this case. Yeah, uh, Julian's Brick City is here. Welcome. Hey, Julian, what's going on, man? Yeah. So no, what? So uh, quiet. I think he's saying it's so quiet. Yeah, I think that's what he meant. What What sets coming this year that have not been revealed yet? Are you excited for? Okay, so we got the new city space. I'm quite excited for those. I've seen the mini figs for those. Um, I've, has there been? I've seen like the astronaut figure. Are there more? Okay, then the minifig there. Yeah, and it looks okay. pretty cool. I like the look of it. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. We know that the sets have been shown off because uh, the German Toy Fair, you know, Andre, he took notes about them, right? But they didn't yeah. show them off at New York Toy Fair. They also showed off the Ninjago and the uh, the superhero DC sets at German Toy Fair, but they weren't able to take photos, just notes also. Yeah. So... It, it sucks in the sense that they saw them, right? The select few well, people actually saw the sets. I think the point is they're going to reveal them as close to the official release as they reasonably can because they don't want Lepin to copy them, for example. Okay, I guess that makes sense. But I wish like, I was that exclusive group that got to see them, you know? Uh, uh, Julian's Brick City. Um, B-Fab with a silent R is British Fab. He was here at the beginning of the stream, but he left us. Yeah. Yeah, so you can go back and watch like the first half hour after it's over. It's pretty good. But he had a he's a ex elf from the North Pole. He he had a lot of um, wonderful insight into how it works up there. It was a really sad kind of emotional thing that happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's nice that he got to share his story with the world. Yeah, until he passed away. I think he's dead. So yeah. Oh, it's unfortunate, but I mean, I guess it shows that nobody can escape Santa. <laughs> but yeah, there's the, I don't know if I'm excited for the city space sub theme. I'm more excited for Saturn five. I'm more excited for the DC superhero stuff. But if you're looking at the minifigs, it looks like they're going back to the older sets. I think this year is what the 90th anniversary of Batman. 80th, I think. 80th, it's, yeah, 80th, yeah. 90th. I don't know what it is, but so it looks like they're making a bunch of older stuff based on the old like TV series. If you look at like Riddler and James Gordon that have leaked, they yeah. are old versions of them. I don't know. I can tell you, I will not be buying any of those. You but... will. You know why? No. Why? I'll just make you another offer. Uh, I don't know if I can afford all these offers. Why don't you just make an offer for me to buy the, uh, the Steamboat Willie? That's a good idea. <laughs> if you burn it after, then yes. If you uh, review it, then burn it. So I don't know about that. I think that's a good offer. 
Um, well, I what do I get in return for burning it? The your offer was you should burn it. Yeah, I yeah. The end of the offer. <laughs> I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a really good uh, really good way to throw away eighty nine dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what you don't like that offer? I don't mean I I don't know. I'd say uh, it's a very very tempting offer. I'm just saying, <laughs> very tempting. I know it is. I I may be sold on the uh, end game offer you made after watching the review of the Quinjet. I know. I'm very good at making offers. I don't know. I mean, it was, it's very tempting. It is. But, yeah. of course, it's a very important part of the offer is the ability to get the Avengers Tower promo. So I will not be buying it day one. I'll be buying it day 22. A uh, wizard with a living cloak, cloak went back in time and brought me 10 minutes of the future. What happened? Uh, AWM, a wizard with a living cloak went back in time and brought him 10 minutes into the future. Oh, okay. Did you already table that, Speedfell, all the time? Yeah. Always. Uh, Jeff, I'm going to head out. Uh, I'm going to work all on right. some stuff and get some sleep. Are you sure uh, you can't thanks. make it three minutes to exactly five o'clock? Uh, I will I wait. Okay, I'll stay an extra. I'll stay that time. Yeah, sure. All right, two minutes now. All right. Yeah, so we're wrapping up the stream very shortly. Uh, any other ending remarks? Um, Final question, topic, etc. You know, it was nice knowing British Fab. Uh, he was a cool guy, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know, we never want to, you know, be happy for people dying or so-called dying. I haven't checked on him, so he might be alive. Um, uh, yeah. That's that's why you gotta leave at five o'clock. You gotta go double check outside the window. No, <laughs> no I just need to. I need to. <laughs> I just need to script a video and get some sleep again. You what know the thing. The thing is, what video am I scripting? I can't yeah. tell you. It's a good video. Oh, okay. So having the last six days off, all I've been doing is sleeping the majority of the time. So yeah. because of that, I just now have a routine where I need to sleep more. <laughs> It's all the time. So it's gonna, it's gonna right. suck going back. Well, actually, you know, it's not gonna suck with all the money. Not this week, but next week. You know. Wait, <laughs> so. So, oh, I, I thought you meant you weren't going. Like for a second, I thought you meant you weren't going back this week. You're going back next week. And I was like, oh no, money. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I go back starting today. So okay. okay, it's like I'm like okay after having six days off of doing nothing, I'm gonna really dread going back to work. But I also. You know, I'm happy that I'll be getting money. That's the the yeah. you know, the, the issue. So, I mean, I don't think getting money is an issue. Yeah, I mean that's a good thing for me. So, yeah. you know, unless I can find a way to, you know, no, I, I'm not. Uh, I can't, I'm not. Uh, I can't even speak right <laughs> now. This is a sign that Bfab. Is, oh, did you unsub from Erica already, Bfab? Did I unsub from Erica? Yeah, Erica Bricks. No, I didn't. Day, no. Yeah, you have to not unsub. Well, it's if there's no important. videos posted in a month, I'll unsub. Okay. I suppose that's fair. Yeah. She's already up to 60 subscribers. Wow. Uh, it is 5 o'clock, though. So we're going to press the stop broadcast button. Adios, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Billion Freak City, M Lego 17, AWM, and the Gallagate, and everyone else who I don't. Oh, Ryan, a lot of reviews. Everyone else who is here that I don't remember. Adios. Thank you for joining us, and goodbye. And thank you, BFAB, for uh, being the co-host. Thanks for inviting me. You are welcome. Adios, everyone.